identify the needs that need to be met during this meeting. Strengthen us as we make tough decisions. I pray that we will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. I pray that we will be fruitful. Father, please guide us so that this meeting can be productive. Let us be effective and decisive. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. John Brown. Here. Brown. Here. Steve Dorchez. Present. Kathy Driscoll. Here. Randy Mitchelson. Here. Jim Allen. Present. Chris Colton. Present. Present. Wilson? Sure. It's on. <laughs> All aldermen are present. Tonight we'd like to recognize Noah Blyler. Let me tell you about a little bit about Noah. 22, 22, 2023, February Student of the Month. OSHA 10 certification. The Skills USA State winner for sheet metal. Second place in the HVAC. And placed 14th in the Skills USA Nationals for sheet metal. This past year, he was outstanding. Step, since September Student of the Month, EPA 608 Universal License, Skills USA State winner for, the, for sheet metal for the second year in a row. He also won the national was the national winner for sheet metal in the Skills competition. So, Noah, if you come forward. Whereas to really excel in any one field, a person must demonstrate the dish to a great deal of natural ability, an outstanding spirit of knowledge, dedication, enthusiasm, and hard work. And where Noah Blyler became the USA national winner in sheet metal skills for 2023-2024. And now, therefore, I, Bruce Berry, mayor of the city of Taylorville, do hereby proclaim August 5th, 2024, there's no Blyler day. Ordinance approving and authorizing execution of the First Amendment to the Business District of 
agreement by between the city of Taylorville and Joshua Saad. Motion by somebody. Alderman Wilson, second. Second. Alderman Mitchelson, questions or comments? Roll call. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Randy Mitchelson? Yes. Jim Alla? Yes. Crystal Chetty? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Ted Brown? Yes. Nathan Bryan? Yes. Steve Dorchinette? Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. An ordinance approving and authorizing the execution of a BDD district number one redevelopment agreement by and between the city of Taylorville, Illinois, and the Greater <coughs> Taylorville Chamber of Commerce, Fireworks and Chili Fest. And this is for money that we've already given them, or we're going to give them, I don't know if we gave them the 10000 for Chili Fest yet or not, but we did give them the 21 forward. So this is just updating our ordinance. We need to do an ordinance for the past. I'll make a motion there. Motion of Alderman Mitchell, Sister Sexton. Second. Alderman Dorchin is. Questions or comments? Sorry, Roll call. Randy Mitchelson? Yes. Jim Alla? Yes. Chris Wilson? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Doug Brown? Yes. Wayne Bryant? Yes. Steve Dorchin? Yes. Kathy Dorchin? Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. Ordinance amending section 3 2 7 to chapter 2, title 3 of the Taylor City Code, in reference to the municipal cannabis retailer's occupation tax. Motion by so Alderman Skull Petty, second. Second. Alderman Bryant, questions or comments? Roll call. Jim Olive? Yes. Chris Petty? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Doug Brown? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Steve Dorchin? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Randy <coughs> Mitchelson? Yes. Uh, Mayor Barry votes yes, and I vote yes on all three ordinances. I should vote so. so, motion carries 9 to 0. Resolution to direct <coughs> the mayor and city clerk to sign a resolution in support of participating <coughs> in the Illinois Transportation Enhancement Program within the city of Taylorville. Motion by so, so. Alderman Wilson, second. Second. Alderman Driscoll, questions or comments? Roll call. Chris Goldtaddy? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Doug Brown? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Steve Dorchinette? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Randy Mitchelson? Yes. Jim Alba? Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. Motion to approve the building permit application, solar panels, glare study, construction plan, scale drawing, location drawing, drainage tile map, and drainage plan, and weed control, and overgrown vegetation plan. Concerning the solar energy facility to be located on GSI Group LLC property, all as referred to in and subject to city ordinance number 4107 and 4240. Motion by Alderman Skultetti, second. Second. Alderman Mitchelson, questions or comments? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to comment on Comment, Rocky. Yes, uh, is Ryan Peters from GSI Group there in the audience? No. no, sir. Okay, is Andy Goodall there? Yes. No. Okay, well, I think everyone received from Andy last Thursday a 67 page application permit that apparently he received from GSI. Um, I read that and then I looked at Ordinance 4107 that you guys adopted back. Sixth of 2022, and there are a number of things that I think are missing, and I can identify those for you. So we could do one of two things this evening: defer this until your next meeting, or go ahead and approve the building permit, subject to what I'm going to address here in a few minutes. There's like eight different things that I saw in the application. Number one, I didn't see that it was signed by anyone uh, in, of the GSI group and. Uh, SAE Illinois S1 LLC is supposed to be the operator. I don't see it signed by them, the application. <coughs> when you look at the application on page three of the application, they say that they're going to file a trainee's child map by May 20th, which I don't think Andy has received. We don't have any copy of the uh, uh, recorded surveys that's signed by any surveyor. It's not, there's, it hasn't been recorded. Your ordinance requires it. The easement agreement, the assignment of the easement agreement to SAE Taylorville, I did review. I find it okay, but what they submitted in the application, they redacted everything, so I'm not sure how useful that is for you folks to review it. Uh, there are a number of other redactions that was in the building permit application that I don't understand why. Uh, 
they refer to a Christian County zoning code as being applicable, which we all know is, is within the city. It's a city zoning code. And then missing a certificate of the Illinois license engineers and architects. So if you wish, are other anxious to get moving with that? We can make the motion uh, subject to if we approve these things, subject to these things I'm mentioning, mentioning, and subject to the mayor's approval, if that will assist them. Or we just go back to them and ask them to fix these things and they can bring it back up to your agenda for the uh, 19th of August. I think, your pleasure. I personally think this is going to take them a couple of weeks to to get to it, so I would su suggest that we uh, postpone this to the August 19th. Motion to table? Table. Second. Yes. Motion to table by Alderman Phil Teddy. Second. Second. Alderman George Hernandez. Questions or comments? Roll call. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Doug Brown? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Steve George yes. Morris? Captain yes. Driscoll? Yes. Megan Mitchelson? Yes. Jim yes. Olive? Chris Voltec? Yes. Motion carries eight to zero to table. Motion to approve by appointment of Sam Peabody to the vacant position on the Planning and Zoning Commission. So moved. Motion by Alderman Bryant. Second. Second. Alderman Dorchinez. Questions or comments? Roll call. Doug Brown? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Steve Dorchinez? Yes. Captain Driscoll? Yes. 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 Megan Bryant? Yes. Steve George Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Randy Mitchelson? Yes. Jim Olive? Yes. Chris Voltetti? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Doug Brown? Yes. Motion carries <coughs> zero. Motion approved the special events permit regarding the 2024 homecoming parade <coughs> to be held Wednesday, September 11th, 2024, beginning at 5 30. I motion to approve. Alderman Bryant? Second. Second. Alderman Brown? Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Motion to approve the special events permit in Tenneville Kiwanis Club Kiwanis Kids Day to be held September 20th, 2024 at 8.30 to 4 and September 21st, 2024, 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Motion to approve? Aye. Alderman Bryant? Second. Second. Alderman George Chanel? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Motion to approve the special events permit in Lake and Tenedo Liquor License <coughs> regarding the St. Mary's Parish Fall Festival to be held on the following days, September 20th, 2024, at 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., September 21st, 2024, at 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., and September 22nd, 2024, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Motion to approve. So moved. Alderman Mitchelson, second. Second. Alderman Dorchinez. All in favor? <coughs> Opposed? Motion carries. City Attorney update. Two quick matters, folks. The first of which is you received an email from me today uh, where I completed the, the 10 easements for the Route 104 sidewalk, sidewalk project and the four easements over the uh, state passage through project. So uh, that's it now in the hands of your engineers. So the project should be moving forward soon. And secondly, is, is Marlon in the, in the audience? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Marlon and I, and I think uh, Joe Lynn, are, are still waiting to hear back from the state on the EPAY agreement that the city has signed and see what we can do with that compared to the invoice cloud uh, bill agreement. So uh, we're working on it and we're waiting to hear back from the state as far as I know, unless Marlon's got information since we last talked last week. We received the agreement, but it wasn't signed. There's a couple of um, signatures on there, but nothing on the final page of it that says that there's uh, an actual agreement. Um, right, it looks like it was the application, I think, Joe. It was the application. We have a signed application where we applied for it, but we don't have a signed agreement, and that's not, I mean, we have to have an agreement showing who signed to agree to this. Okay. So we're still waiting. We're waiting back that moving forward. That's it. Thank you, Brian. Mayor, our report. It's been three weeks since our last city council meeting. I just want to take the time to thank the Christian County Fair Board 
for a great fair on the 100th anniversary of the Christian Town Fair. Thank you to the people involved with South Fork Dirt Riders for a great three-day event. Both of these events brought thousands of people to our community. Thank you to the Quarter Midget Association for bringing, for bringing the regional Quarter Midget races to our community. And thank you to Barry Kent for a very successful 32nd Annual Tornado Open. The city will soon begin work on the water line on Springfield Road and also the Poplar Street entrance and exit to our fire department. Hopefully around Labor Day we'll begin work on the bike trail and also the sidewalk on Mount 104, so get those decent signs, Jim and Mike. <laughs> Later this year we will begin work at the Lake Marina along with the Veterans Memorial parking lot. I know it's been a very big inconvenience, but the railroad will be Placing the tracks at all of the crossings in Taylorville, and we will be back soon to fix all the, the entrances and exits. In them. So give them a couple weeks, and they should have it all fixed. What they told me. So you might tell it to the people that are complaining. <laughs> Committee reports, discussions, and or motions to approve, adopt, and or deny, and or table, and or amend, and or refer to an appropriate committee in Holmes Hard to matter regarding the following subject matter. Discuss at the committee level. Ordinance. All in the Thank you, Mayor. First, we have a motion to recommend the City Council to approve the BDP <coughs> redevelopment agreement for the property located at 219 West Main Cross Street in the amount of $9,101.41 for James B. Make that point of motion. Motion to vote on the Second. Second. Alderman Brown. Question. Questions or comments? Roll call. Tim Rollins? Yes. Bruce Bolchetti? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Doug Brown? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Steve Dorchett? Yes. Chris Patrick Driscoll? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Motion carries 8 to 0. Next, we have a motion to recommend the City Council to approve the BDD redevelopment agreement for the property located at uh, 1141 East 1500 North Road in the amount of $4,821.29 for John Stork. Make that form a motion. Motion by Alderman Skoltetti, second. Second. Alderman Bryant, questions or comments? Roll call. Bruce Skoltetti? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Seth Brown? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Yes. Steve Dorchinette? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Randy Mitchelson? Yes. Jim Olive? Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. Finally, we have a motion to recommend the City Council to approve the BDD redevelopment agreement for the property location. <coughs> At 10 South Main Street, in the amount of six thousand. Uh, okay, one hundred okay. South Main Street, in the amount of six thousand three hundred seventy dollars. For Dustin Clark, to make that point. Motion by Alderman Skoltetti, second. Second. Alderman Driscoll, questions or comments? Roll call. Jeremy Wilson. Yes. Doug Brown. Yes. Dan Bryant. Yes. Steve Dorchinet. Yes. Kathy Driscoll. Yes. Mitchelson? Yes. Jamala? Yes. Crystal Teddy? Yes. Motion carries eight. Personnel. Alderman Thank you. First is a motion to recommend the City Council to approve to hire one police officer for the Tampa Police Department. Motion by Alderman Bryant. Second. Second. Alderman George Chanel's questions or comments. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next is a motion to recommend to the City Council to approve to hire one firefighter for the City of Taylorville Fire Department. Motion by Alderman Bryant, second. Second. Alderman George Chanel's questions or comments. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. This next one I need to add something. It should read motion to recommend to the City Council to bid and or advertise um, second shift plant operator one position at the water treatment plant. All right. Motion by Alderman Bryant, second. Okay. Alderman Skoltetti, questions or <coughs> comments. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next is a motion to recommend to the City Council to correct the Police Department sick time. Motion by Alderman Bryant, second. Second. Alderman George Chanez, questions or comments? Roll call. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Randy Mitchelson? Yes. Jim Olive? Yes. Chris Coltetti? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Seth Brown? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Steve Dorchinette? Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. Emergency service. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, motion to recommend to the City Council to approve payment for the CAD system in the amount of $9,490.69. Make that in the motion. 
Motion by Alderman George Sinanis, second. Thank you. Alderman Scorsetti, questions or comments? Roll call. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Chris Coltani? Yes. Jim Olive? Yes. Randy Nicholson? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Steve Dorchinez? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Ben Brown? Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. Motion to approve or end or ratify paying the bill $486,428.07. Make the motion to approve. Thank motion of Alderman Mitchelson, second. Second. Alderman Bryant, questions or comments? Roll call. Doug Brown? Yes. Megan Bryant? Yes. Steve Dorchinez? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Randy Mitchelson? Yes. Jim Olive? Yes. Chris Coltani? Yes. Jeremy Wilson? Yes. Motion carries 8 to 0. First subparagraph G, 5 ILCS, 120 slash 2.06. This portion of the City Council and Reserve Bank, the Social Research of the Council, and any relevant subject matter concerning the City. The Illinois Reading Act 5 ILCS 120 slash 1 May make no act shall be taken on subject matters not listed on the agenda, but the Council may direct staff to address the topic of referring to subject matter to a future Council and or committee meeting. If anyone wishes to address the council, please provide your name and address, limit your comments or presentation to three minutes, and avoid repetitious comments. So, anyone out there like to speak to the council? Any aldermen have anything to say? Seeing none, most appropriate. So moved. Alderman Gunn, second. Alderman Driscoll, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries.